Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm not even going to begin to make excuses for why I look bad and my voice is out because this has been me for the past three days straight. <laughs> So as you can see, I have been just utterly <laughs> miserable, but I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed because this actually, this kind of all over the place haul is, um, it's actually long overdue and the stuff is piling up and I've just been really excited to share it with you and today is the first hint of my voice being back and I think I kind of needed some retail therapy so I went out and picked up a couple of other things. Like I said, this is going to be like all over the place, but I'm ready to get started and I'm going to start sharing some things with you. I guess I'll go ahead and start with the fashion haul. Um, American Eagle, which is a huge, like, favorite place for me. Um, I love their shorts. I love their tank tops. Uh, the top I have on right now, it's kind of like a, um, it's just a really baggy tee is from there. And actually, the belt that I have on right here, this little braided belt, is from there. Um, I love their style. I love how vintage and laid back it kind of is. Um, anyhow, I bought these, and um, you can see they're just kind of like a just like a distressed print kind of camo not like it's not camo but it's that army kind of fatigue green and um, they're just really distressed and they're just kind of like Bermuda shorts love them they are so soft and these I will get a ton of wear out of especially with like some rainbow flip-flops or you know some different tanks so I got that um, I also bought this belt from I believe it was JC Penny I needed kind of a dressy belt and it's kind of like an elastic belt and then it's got like the leather front with the brass detail and I also use this as more of a high-waisted belt I thought this would be really nice to tie around um, some high-waisted dresses that I have and I also bought this from American Eagle it's really pretty it's like one of those long belts that you style by wrapping them around and you can kind of knot them and then tuck them in and I like it because it just has this little detail which is funny because it reminds me a lot of the kind of the appearance of the Chanley bracelets but that's the kind of detail it has on the inside it is solid leather and I love this it was on sale it was 40% off of $19 so I think I paid like $12 for it so I really like this one and I also bought this from American Eagle I really like this it's just um I kind of needed something that was more antique gold that was between a um like a gold and a rose gold so it could go either way and it's just kind of like a long chain and it has little like they almost look like little leaves, but they're kind of like drop details with some little pearls on them. And I think this looks so great. Right now, I know what's really big is um, just kind of like breezy knits and sweaters. And I actually fell in love with this sweater. It's so cute. It's got peekaboo holes. It's kind of like a cropped sweater. And it looks like this. Um, so basically, it stops right at the waist. And you can wear this kind of slouchy with like a tank under it or off the shoulder. And I love the color. And it's meant to be kind of baggy. So I'd kind of style it like that with some um, chunky jewelry. And um, yeah, I just really like the way it looks and I like the color. So that's that. And um, I usually post all my outfit of the days when I style things on Twitter. So if you haven't checked that out, it is this is Rachel, R C H A E L. And uh, you can kind of see as I go and style these two. Um, okay, also, um, I think I mentioned before I am in love with the MNG line at JCPenney. And I've been eyeballing this shirt since it was like $30 and it came down to. Um, $14 and it was totally worth it. It's like, of course, me and the stripes. It's like a nautical inspired shirt with stripes, but the neat detail is in the shoulders. It's kind of got these ruffles. So it's almost got like the um, the sharp shoulders, but you can see the ruffles and it's just really cute. And I love that shirt. So I bought that. Um, I bought this from Belks and I absolutely love this. It's by Red Camel and um, it's kind of like the just sort of I don't know, it doesn't look like much right here, it looks like a great big doily, but it looks really good on. Um, you can put this on over like a tank top and just kind of put it over the shoulder and accessorize it. Love that. Um, back to American Eagle. I think I'm skipping around, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get through all this stuff before my battery dies. But they had their um, kind of like three quarter length t-shirts on clearance or whatever so I bought this one I really like vintage style and this one you can see just has like a butterfly print on it um, I like this because I can kind of wear it off the shoulder and uh, accessorize it with some necklaces you can wear it with some short shorts or you can wear it with some Bermuda shorts 
or even like one of those long flowy sort of bohemian style skirts and I really like the look of that. Um, okay, speaking of like bohemian style, I fell in love, love, love with these. I love the brand Sanix. It's almost like a, um, it's like recycled shoes and they usually use, um, yoga mats and things like that for their padding. They recycle materials such as that. But this is what they look like. I tweeted a picture the other day of these. I absolutely love these shoes. Um, they're not too expensive. These were $36, but they're leather and then the top. I think these are really cute and they'll kind of go with anything. Um, but they're super comfortable. It feels like you're walking on like gel. I mean, it feels so, so good. So I bought those. And then these are the three dresses that I kind of needed to buy the belts for that I showed you. Um, this is one I picked up at Belks. I absolutely love this. It's one of those um, kind of like boxy front and it's, well, it's falling off the, the hanger, but it's like um, almost a boat neck. It's a little bit longer of a neck. And then it's got the high waist on it and then the print. I absolutely love. I would actually just wear this plain, you know, with the belt, maybe some of the layering pieces, but I love the detail on the back. It's got kind of like a gray zipper in the back and it's, I don't know, it's just super pretty. Um, like I said, I think I'll probably do some outfit of the days coming up and I'll actually show you, um, you know, how I would style those or whatever. And speaking of that, I've been just so into the easygoing dresses. Like, I like things that look kind of old, kind of vintage -y, kind of, um, I don't know, like Bahama style, Bermuda style. I don't know. I'm just all over the place with fashion, but I'm definitely more on the like vintage kind of look. And this dress I absolutely fell in love with. And you can see it just has like the most beautiful embroidered detailing. And um, it has these just kind of bat wingy style sleeves that come straight down. And then it's just a crop dress. It comes just above the knees. And you can see it's just really like bohemian style. And this is absolutely gorgeous on. And I would actually take this and I would wear it like this and do it with um, probably this belt right here. Like this. You know with the high waist and just do it like that and then wear it with some um like heels or something like that so i absolutely love that and that same kind of style or whatever i got this dress which is kind of i don't know it kind of reminds me of a mix of the like missoni print which is kind of the traditional sort of um you know the zigzag pattern or whatever but it kind of gives me the vibe of a missoni but it also mixes it with like an aztec print and I really like this. It's got a, it's got all kinds of like trend friendly elements. It's got the peep shoulders and it's got the high waist. It's got that really kind of carefree baggy detail. So this one is just really cute high waisted and you can wear it like this with heels. And this one's a little bit shorter. It's probably about like two and a half, three inches above my knee. So <coughs> excuse me, my, my cold is like trying to act up, but, um, that is actually one of the other items that I got. Okay, um, now, what I mentioned the other day, I have been looking for the perfect pair of nude shoes and it's been like impossible to find. I actually had some luck and I went to Dillard's and they have an exclusive brand and I think you can sometimes get them elsewhere and it's by Gianna Beanie. And the shoes were originally like 80 something dollars but they were marked down to $27. dollars i wear size seven and a half. But these are, gorgeous these are kind of like they're actual suede and they're a nude color and actually it looks like the color is showing up pretty true to shade but they're just like a blush kind of nude colored pump I love them because they have a really sturdy heel and I can walk on them they're still very like trend conscious and very girly I love them they'll go with pretty much any dress that you wear them with or even jeans and I bought these to go with them these go in the heel because for some reason um this particular style of shoe is cut a little bit short in the heel box and normally they come a little bit higher so it feels like my heel kind of slips a little bit but to combat that I just put these little heel cushions in the back and it keeps my heel from sliding out so these are the new shoes I finally found some that I can deal with that I can walk in and live in for an entire day and they won't hurt my feet so I was really excited to find those okay I think I'm done with the fashion part of it let's get into some beauty stuff I was obsessed with this. This is, oh, I'm so sorry to say this, this is discontinued. It's by Victoria's Secret. It looks like this and it's called Romantic Wish. If you can get this on eBay, oh my gosh, I totally suggest you try it. Um, 
Oh, I don't know why I didn't buy it whenever it was in stores, but now that it's discontinued, I want it even more. I've got this, I've got a backup on the way. It's a freesia and cucumber blossom scent, which totally embodies a warm, sexy summer. It's just fruity, it's very grown up, and it's not overly like mature smelling, but it's just a flirty, sexy floral smell, and it's romantic wish. So if you can find this body spritz, which by the way, I love their body spritzes because Sometimes I feel like perfume is a little bit too heavy in the summertime, so I definitely recommend trying out some of their body splashes. Another one that I have tons of is the um, Amber Romance, which I think is a really nice kind of cupcake-y, uh, sweet, you know, smell that smells just really, really sweet and really fresh. And that one's a little bit younger smelling, but either one, any of them, they all smell really, really nice. So, um, okay, I also got these. Um, my cousin actually works for the um, the JC Penny salon she manages those and so that usually means I get samples not because I'm anybody special but because my cousin happens to work there so she's always saying hey Rachel try this hey Rachel try this so she gave me these and um, these are matrix silk wonder smoothing oil and I've actually been testing these out for and you can tell it doesn't take much it only takes like a few drips but basically when your hair's wet you just smooth this into your ends and um, I'm a huge fan of the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Serum. I will not stray from that, but she asked me to try this because she thinks it's really great. And I have to say, it smells phenomenal, um, but I haven't used it enough to give you my honest opinion on it yet because I feel like I need to try something a couple more weeks before I say, okay, that's it. It might work great the first day, the second day, and then in a week it might be absolutely nothing to me. So um, I definitely, I'll let you know about that stuff. Okay. Um, along with that, she also gave me two of the minis, OPI minis, from the actual mini collection. Um, OPI just recently did, uh, well it's not recently, it's been a few weeks, but they came out with the um, Vintage Minnie Mouse collection, and these are two of the shades from that. This is like the darker red, and this one right here, it's actually a pink. It doesn't look pink that much, but it's like a pretty kind of a fuchsia red color, and it's got pink in it. And then there's this color right here. It's kind of like a pretty kind of purpley pink shade. And um, yeah, I'm excited to try those out. And let's see, um, the nail polish that I have on my fingers right here, um, I bought this and I think you guys have seen this in maybe one of my tweets, but if not, this is Essie's Tarte Deco. I have it on right now with Hallucinate, which is a glitter, and then of course this one is my um, Barracuda kind of bling finger, bling bling. <laughs> so anyways, that is the color and I have been loving this um, SE and it should still be in their um, displays. It's kind of been out for a little while so I'm pretty sure they still have it. Hit up Sedona Lace. I purchased everything from them. I'm not sponsored by them. I have no affiliations. I just wanted to try their products because I was looking for this right here. This is the Sedona Lace FB03 and it's a tulip contour brush and it looks just like this. I think you can see it is just so soft. Um, I haven't even used it yet that's what I wanted to show you. I haven't even used it yet to tell you my opinion of it, but I will be using it and I will be giving a full opinion. I think it's a beautiful brush. It's a natural bristle brush. It's not synthetic. But um, anyways, I purchased this and I'm really excited to try this out. Now, when I bought it, it was on back order. So because of, I guess, the fact that it was back ordered, um, they also gave us freebies that came with it. And it was the stick it to them and it looks like this. And it is a, I guess it's like an eyeshadow primer and it comes in a little squeeze tube. And again, I'll be doing a separate Sedona Lace review, um, reviewing all the products that I got from them that I purchased. And then the gift with purchase from ordering the brush, um, they sent me a mini brush like this, just kind of like a mini crease brush. And then they also sent me three very gorgeous, um, they look kind of shimmery, they're kind of, to sample their eyeshadows. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. There you go, there's a really pretty pink color. And then they sent me this really pretty kind of like aquamarine kind of blue color. And then there is this really pretty kind of um, burgundy color. So again, it was kind of all sent in this one pouch like this. <clears throat> Packaged together along with a card that talks about their Vortex line. And um, it looks like this. So I'm really excited to try out this brush that I bought along with the little freebies that came with it. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a separate review about the Sedona's brush brushes that I got. Um, 
All right, and the last thing, which actually I think I've got almost everything covered. Um, the last thing is so funny because, like I said, today's the first day I've been out of my like deathbed, and <coughs> um, I don't know if you guys looked back and saw my um, spend the day with a Dior makeup artist. I'm very close friends with my Dior counter representative. She's a very wonderful woman and she always calls me. They had an event going on and I wanted to go so badly to this event but because I was sick and I've been sick for three days I just I couldn't do it and anyhow I went in today it was like the last day of the event and they had a special makeup artist there and um, it was so funny because I was just standing there talking she's like oh girl she's like you need to get well present <laughs> and she is so sweet God bless her. I guess they're doing gifts um, for the Dior kind of makeover event that they're doing right now and uh, so she gave me a sweet Dior get well present. I haven't actually opened it yet to see what's in it so I thought maybe I would share it with you guys. Um, basically she's like I can see it in your eyes that you don't feel good which I guess is her polite way of saying honey you look like crap because I know I do. I know I'm still on the I've got like 40% left to go to feel 100%. So I'm hanging in there and I'm pumping my vitamin C and my orange juice and okay, I'm getting back to it. So anyways, it comes in this really pretty bag and it has tissue paper. And <clears throat> let's see, what did I get? All right, I've got tons of these little samples. Um, I've got Dior Snow, um, DNA Control, another DNA Control. This is DNA Reverse. Um, this is the UV Shield BB Cream by Dior Snow. And this is the another UV Shield BB cream, and then there's one more DNA reverse. So I've got a handful of samples, which are enough to give me a pretty good idea about the product. Now I have tried, in case you're curious, the Dior BB cream that was not the Dior Snow. It's supposed to be great for all skin tones. I'm very fair, and it was just too dark for me. And I know a couple of other people that had that same problem. So if you're looking at the regular Dior BB cream and you are fair, you may want to go with the Dior Snow, although I can't say I'm 100% sure that I love this one either. I'll still test them and see what I think about them. Um, um, because you know I'll try anything once so all right let's see what else um, then I got the Dior Addict this is glow this is one of the newer colors I believe I'm not 100% sure but I believe it's one of the newer shades and this is 247 and it looks like this and it's just a doe foot applicator um, kind of like a deluxe sample and then there is the duo express Dior Instant eye makeup remover. So there's a sample of that. All right, and then the last thing is, I don't even know what this is, what is this? It is a, oh, it's cute, it's a Dior Diva wallet. So it's a little Dior wallet, and I guess you can just put your, <laughs> that silica gel. <laughs> Anyways, you can just put your ID or some change in it or whatever, and then I'm pretty sure this probably says Dior, yeah. It's just got like a little Dior tag on it. So, oh, that is so sweet because, I mean, honestly, I, I guess I do look like crap and I feel like crap. So this was, this was a nice pick me up. So, um, thank you to my friend at Dior. I'm not sure if she's watching my videos or not, but um, anyhow, okay, I think that pretty much does it. Sorry to kind of be all over the place, but. Like I said, I'm just getting back to the land of the living from this like massively miserable head cold. Okay, I've rambled enough. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day or night while you're watching this. If you feel bad, I hope you feel better because I'm looking forward to getting to 100% and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!